Hello everybody. I hope you're doing well today. Um, I've been going through a lot of my old videos. And uh, there were things I did wrong and some of those that weren't quite good. Sometimes I, I would appear too arrogant. I don't mean to appear that way. Um, and there's some things that I weren't quite correct in some of it. Thought about taking some of them down. Um, not that I was wrong in what I was talking about. It's the way I presented it more than anything. Um, I'm going to leave them up. Uh, I'd like to leave a record of my evolution here on YouTube. Um, so, uh, if I don't comment on any of these old videos that anyone wants to comment on, say things on, or respond to you on any of these older videos, it's probably because I, I just ain't going to argue with you about it. Uh, um, if you want to talk to me, you, you have to uh, do it in the comments or go to my page and hit the discussion button. Uh, I'm having trouble with my email account. And uh, I don't do Facebook. Um, I haven't found another channel I like that much. I, I do have accounts in other places, but I don't go there much. I don't have much time to piddle around online. Um, it's been a rough summer. I had a job. I couldn't find any work for my own personal business. So I went to work for some other company. It was a job. Uh, didn't pay as much as what I'm used to, but the hours were, wow, like 10 hour days, 6 days a week kind of thing. Playing block. Uh, I was grateful for the job. Job's still going now, but I'm not there because of their complications in, the, in it and waiting for a brick and all that stuff. And well, I can't sit around and wait for all these things to happen. And so I kept my eye open for other things as well. I haven't left that job yet. I'm just not working at the moment. So uh, I'm able to make a video. Um, Tell you a little bit about what happened to me. I can, some of you noticed I haven't been online for some time, and here just recently, this last month, I started putting videos back up. Well, uh, I went offline back in September, I believe it was. Uh, things got pretty hard, financial-wise and health-wise, and uh, there were a lot of family problems. My mother, last July, had a stroke. And, uh, she's been cared for. She's better now. She can talk. She couldn't talk for a while, but she can talk and move around now. She's staying with my older brother, who's caring for her quite well. My father then died last December. It was no surprise to the family, because we've been expecting it for a couple of years. He had COPD. Uh, problems after his death result in family arguments um, over who gets what. I'm sad. Those things are still not settled yet. But God takes care of us. Um, I kept my home barely. Almost lo lost it last year. They were threatening foreclosure. I did find enough work, and we did manage to do a resettlement. Uh, so I'm still living in a house right now. How long that'll last? Uh, it's up to what happens. I'm not going to worry about it. Do my no good to worry about it. About causing a nervous breakdown last year, but. I do have the Lord, and I do have friends. 
Here's an interesting story, one of the things that did get me through it. So there's this little park, some of you have seen me walking through it in some of my videos. And when I'm getting stressed from all these things, I'll go out there in that park and I'll, I can find some solace and be with the Lord in prayer and think. Well, one, uh, one day I was walking through that park and I come upon a friend I hadn't seen in years. He asked me how I was doing. Well, I went ahead and told him I was having troubles with all these things. You know, he said, well, you've always been a good guy, and you helped me out before, and he gave me a little money to, you know, get some provisions with. And I thought, well, that was nice of him. I thanked him and, you know, visited for a while, and I left feeling cheerful two hours later. Going to the store with that little bit of money wasn't much, but it was enough to get something to eat. Another man I hadn't seen, which didn't even know the other guy, they'd never met, but this guy I haven't seen in years as well, he talks and talks to me and stuff, and he says, well, you look really down. Is there something wrong? I explained to him my situation, finances, and my health. He said, well, you've helped me out in the past. You're such a good guy. You know, I, I can't, I hate to see you in such a state. I, don't, I wish I could give you give you something to help you, but all I got is this $20 bill. And he said, God bless you. You know, I hope, hope the Lord helps you out. There's two, two people right now. Okay, he helps me out. Well, I go in, I, I, I'm able to get enough food for the last a week now. I go home the food up and tell my wife about it and I go well I'm I'm gonna go look for work well I'm no gasoline so I'm walking around looking for work and I'm on my way to this place where they're I hear they're hiring you know I didn't know if they was gonna hire me or not I find out well they've they've got the job field now and took my application and all that stuff as I was leaving there and walking down the street, someone else stops me that I haven't seen in years. That doesn't know either of the other two people, which I'd mentioned before. Nearly the same thing happened. So what, on my way home from that encounter, last encounter, which he did loan me a little money, give me some encouragement. On my way home from that last encounter, I was walking along and it was a hot day, but the breeze was cool. The road I was on was shaded. The birds were singing. And it just occurred to me that that day, God told me He loved me three times. Three times God told me He loved me that day. That was encouragement that I needed greatly at that time. The depression that I'd been feeling before suddenly lifted from me. My mind cleared from the confusion of what was going on. It was the day after that that I made the settlement to keep my home. And it was a week later that I found this job that caught me up somewhat, which is just a job. And in construction, you're always working yourself out of work, so you got to keep looking and keep going. Uh, things are picking up for me a little bit. They have been worse. You know, I used to live in the streets when I was much younger. Um, God is looking out for us, and God will look out for you too. Have faith. Bless you all. Peace, love, and understanding be with you.